Hi guys. I just spent um, probably about an hour watching some videos on pigments and we're going to talk about some different pigments in different produce items and I'm going to point out some key points um, looking at a few things. So is the pigment insoluble or soluble in water? Um, what are some unique characteristics of each pigment? Um, and then what happens when you put it in an acidic solution and put it in an alkaline solution? Um, and I have some tips too for each one. So the first one we're going to talk about is chlorophyll. Um, chlorophyll is the green pigment. Um, most of you probably know that already. Learned about chlorophyll in your elementary education science classes. Um, it's one of the first pigments we learned about. Um, but chlorophyll is green. Um, and two important things to know about chlorophyll is when you put it in an acidic solution and you put it in a basic solution or an alkaline solution, um, the chemical structure is actually changed and we want to know what those are called and I'm going to try and pronounce them for you. So insoluble in water. So if you wanted to put it in an acidic solution, so some of the experiments um, in the videos that I'm going to post are in um, a little bit of vinegar for our acidic solution. The chlorophyll turns olive green. So, um, for example, if you put a acidic tomato sauce in with green bean, then it's going to turn more of like an olive green. Um, also, the acidic environment or the acidic medium um, kind of makes fibers stronger, which is the opposite in basic. So, in our alkaline solution, um, for example, baking soda. Um, I like to try and remember uh, the alkaline solution this way. So alkaline solution, we have baking soda, which is a base, um, turns bright green, um, and breaks down the fibers. So remember that B. Um, baking soda, base, breaks down fibers, bright green. And this is for our chlorophyll. Um, also to note in this alkaline solution, um, you might lose some water soluble vitamins. So it kind of gets really mushy, the fiber breaks down, you're losing some water soluble vitamins. So um, the two chemically changed um, names for acidic and basic. So if you put it in acid solution, it turns olive green and it's chemically changed to, oh boy, uh, phytophyton, P-H-E-O, phyton, P-H-Y-T-I-N. Um, so olive green, phytophyton, and then the alkaline solution turns a bright green and it's called fluorophyllin. So fluorophyllin. So, um, sorry, chlorophyllin. So still bright green, think chloro, like your chlorophyll, um, chlorophyllin, bright green, phenophyton, olive green, and an acid. So acid, we're fighting, phenophyton, olive green. Hopefully that helps you guys. I know it's kind of silly, but if it helps you remember it, it's worth it. 